A bankruptcy trustee has the power under the bankruptcy code to recover fraudulent transfers that were made by the debtor in the two years prior to the bankruptcy, or even before that if allowed under state law. Fraudulent transfers include those made by the debtor with actual intent to hinder, delay, or defraud creditors, or those which are deemed constructively fraudulent because they were made while the debtor was insolvent and for less than reasonably equivalent value. If you've ever done business with an entity that ends up in bankruptcy, you may find yourself on the receiving end of a demand to return a fraudulent transfer. A tumultuous economy like the one we're experiencing now often means a spike in discovered Ponzi schemes and shell game companies, and those bankruptcy cases almost certainly result in a lot of fraudulent transfer litigation. If you've been sued for a fraudulent transfer, you should look closely at certain available defenses. You may have a defense on account of having received the transfer in good faith, without knowledge of the fraud, or on account of having provided equivalent value in return. You should also confirm that the statute of limitations hasn't run out. And to insulate yourself from these situations altogether, you should look closely and question it when you receive payment from an entity that is different than your customer or contract counterparty. If you do not, a court may determine that you knew or you should have known that there was some type of commingling or other suspicious business activity happening. No one wants to find themselves in fraudulent transfer litigation, but unsuspecting parties sometimes do, and we're here to help. Music